here old welcome back and man, it's been a minute I was doing vlogmas and then everything got crazy and it wasn't getting a lot of views I know it's not supposed to be all about views but it's like YouTube's not even pushing me out I think it's part that part I've lost a lot of people I started with they're not doing YouTube they're not really watching YouTube anymore so it's a lot of things that it's just been a little discouraging on that front I would like to go in this year 2021 <laughs> With like a renewed energy and yes I still have my Christmas decorations up they haven't made it down I'm gonna work on that after I record a few videos it's my goal to get most of this down and get this the ornament Ted it might come down might not it has to go in the trash <laughs> so so it's okay with me if it takes a minute I know the lighting is probably not great <laughs> and all but we're gonna get it we're gonna about editing these. I've got a couple videos that were supposed to be vlogmas, but I can probably edit them down to just be like hauls because they are like factory connection haul, clothing hauls, things like that. So today I actually wanted to uh, do a what I got for Christmas from some friends haul. And well, first things first, I got this lovely big O TV. <laughs> it's a 42 inch, I think 38. No, it's 42 inch. Uh, if you don't know, my mom gave me the money pre-Black Friday at Walmart to get that TV. I just wanted a bigger one so when I do have the kids over and I have like extra seating over there, they can actually see the TV more. So yeah, that was my first gift that I actually got this year. My aunt got me a few little things. She got me this lovely candle. It smells really good. It says Summer Citrus. And it does, it smells more orange but not uber strong like a like a just a sweet light orange i like it and now i can burn candles because y'all know i don't have boo anymore he's with my mom and he's happy because you know he was only ever triggered by me with his little um redirected aggression things so um but Sirius has no concern about candles he doesn't care he doesn't stick his face in candles so it's all good. She gave me this little keychain. I forgot it's over there. But she got me some homemade, uh, homemade soaps. This one is a Lotus natural soap. I just think it's so cool looking. And I use these. I use them in the shower. And then like a cherry blossom one. That's neat. Um, I'll use those to shave my legs and stuff. So, bother me. And then this interesting little like candle holder. <laughs> Um, I just thought it was cool looking. What really surprised me, um, I think it just depends on what, I never really expect anything from my brother, and it's not like, not, not just good. She's them, it's just like, they have 10 kits. I'm like, Christmas is expensive. I don't usually go over there expecting something, or, you know, whatever, <laughs> or if it isn't something small, if I do get something, plus, like, my brother helped me get my car this year, so, I didn't really need much but they did they got me something awesome so this is from the sack and it's an awesome purse I, did, I already got my stuff in it it's the softest leather like imagine it's vegan leather but I love that design on it it has a little L if you turn the right way no it's just exactly um but yeah it's got wide zipped opening it has the pockets on the side open pocket and closed pocket this big old purse I can carry on some stuff. Has two pockets on the side, which is cool to unzip. With the hardware. It has two straps. So I like this. This is a good size for me and all my stuff. So I really, really like this. Plus, I didn't notice that um the purse I had been using, I was just using a brown one that I've had for eight years. Because it's like normally my fall purse, and I just didn't even have time to switch to a winter purse. And I like purses. I just don't like spending a lot of money on purses. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> but I didn't notice that the straps had started to rip. <laughs> anyway, my niece picked this. I was like, okay, who picked it out? Because I know it wasn't my brother or my sister-in-law probably. So, 
It was like my eldest niece picked this out for me. But that's so nice. And also my eldest niece who's 18, she'll be 19 in May. And then my other niece who's just turned 17, they actually got me my mom with a present because you know they've been working at Chick-fil-A. And they kept me a $30 Ulta gift card. I was just like, you know what? Y'all know me. <laughs> I would have been happy with any of the thing they got me. Honestly, they needed to start making me stuff. They got me nieces and nephews. Um, but yeah, I was like, well, y'all know me. <laughs> got me a $30 Ulta gift card. That's my This is my friend Cassie here on YouTube. Or check her out with Cassie. S on here, I do believe, or Cassie S on here. That might be her Instagram handle. But <clears throat> first thing she got me were these little, these are the mini makeup erasers. There's like a seven day set. So you just use one every day, which is great for travel if we can ever travel again. <laughs> and, and it comes in this little cute little pouch. How cute is that? Honestly. And you can like, you can probably take just two of them on a trip and then like, you know. Unless you need the whole thing. Um, oh, and it has a headband in it, too. I haven't even opened this. <laughs> but it has a headband, so that's cute. And it's just, like, all these little lemons, which I thought was adorable. So, I'll definitely get used out of that. You know, one day when I take it out of the wrapping paper. I did open it. I just put it back in the wrapping paper. And then she also got me, because she knows how I used to be. I've been horrible about using a mask. I did use one like a week or two ago. I need to start masking. I used to mask almost every day, at least twice a week, if not more, usually like almost every day. And I got, kind of got away from that. Uh, but this is the tropical set from Sephora. It is five masks. Love this little pouch. So cute. It has a little, little fan palm. So <laughs> I, I don't have something sharp to cut that with right now. So we're just stick that over here. And I'll tell you, it has mud mask, um, a grape face mask, a pineapple nose mask, a green clay mask, and an uh, acai smoothie mask. So, like, that's cool. Also sent me <laughs> straight from Sephora. I told her she didn't have to. The first thing she sent had carmine all up in it. <laughs> she didn't mean that she thought it didn't have it. Um, or it didn't have it listed on the website, but was on the box. So she, you know, happens sometimes. And anyway, so but I gave that palette to my mom and she's fine. Um well, I'm the only one allergic to it that I know. Anyway, so she sent me something straight from Sephora and she got me two samples. How come you get the good, good samples? Whenever I request samples, they don't send me what I want. It's not anything good. So she got me Wishful Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer. I've never even heard of this brand. Lavender, honey, niacinamide, and turmeric. I actually like turmeric in my skincare. Some people say it's not that great for you, but I liked it. Um, so it's luminosity, visibly smaller pores, hydration, and instant smoothing. So you got like a little circle of that. I've never even heard of that brand. Oh, it's a, it's Huda. Uh, and I just know that because it's signed Huda right there. Ah, uh, this is Huda. I knew she had a skincare brand. I just didn't know it was called Wishful. See how much I'm paying attention now. Um, and then Ole Henriksen, the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. Three sources of vitamin C and Rose of Winter Extract Facial Moisturizer. So a little packet of that. That's cool. And this is really pretty. This is so awesome. And it says, color so bright, it's to die for. This is the Violet Voss tie-dye for. <laughs> tie-dye for. It's just awesome. Uh, they are supposed to be vegan. This one is so freaking awesome. Look at that. Look how pretty. And has a big old mirror. <laughs> and that is what it looks like. Look how gorgeous that is. They go pans. Love it. I love how there's actually, I love bright palettes, but sometimes you want a neutral in your crease. Like I can crease with, like I crease normally with a bright palette, like with an orange and a yellow, sometimes a green. So, and even a light purple or, or pink, like pink's actually my crease today. So like <sighs> crease and then blow it out. I would blow out with these like on a bright palette, but these are so awesome because this can tone it down just enough 
and help people out, have a blown out crease. So I like that. And the one's actually shimmer. That one's actually bronze and shimmer. And then you got a white one, which is bleach dye. So that is so cool. I am so interested in trying this. You have no idea. Uh, so thank you, girl. Thank you for my present. I mean, this is all of it because I got one thing today. Now this box came last week. So weird. Anyway, it's from Cha. <laughs> We call her Cha. Her, her YouTube name was Cha Siles. I don't even know if it's still active anymore. Um, she hasn't been on it. She's still, you can still find her on Instagram though. Sweet girl. We like started YouTube at the same time basically. Um, maybe a little later, but we friended each other. We were friends in our lives. <laughs> anyway, she wanted to send me friends. And I was like, girl, you don't have to do that. Um, <clears throat> I was like, I know, I know everybody's money in situations weird anyway, but she insisted. And of course, me running out the house because I was like, I have to make it to the post. I have to go buy my work, drop off some baked goods, gotta get my check, gotta go by the bank, gotta go to the post office before they close. I was running, 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 and I had to go to the store, I think. So I forgot one of her things to send, and I found it on the table later. I'm like, because my table's been a mess because of Christmas. And I found it and I was like, crap. But I did not manage to mail off two of her things. <laughs> but I found one thing that I, I for sure wanted to mail. <laughs> and there's probably something else. And I was like, but th that had bought specifically for her to mail. And I totally forgot about it. Anyway, she bought me a bunch of little goodies because she asked me what I wanted from Ulta. And I'm like, you know, this year hasn't been uber exciting with releases, you know. Colourpop's kind of got back into it, but nobody else really has, except for Violet Boss, apparently. Uh, release anything exciting too much. Uh, so, like, I didn't have anything else. I didn't want her to spend too much money. That's the thing. I was like, you might be small, but don't, like, overspend. But anyway, so the first thing she got me was this Real te Techniques Everyday Essentials brush and the sponge set uh so that has a this is the blush brush and then you got a buffer brush you got a highlight brush and that's a foundation brush i do believe real techniques you have very very nice brushes very soft i don't mind their sponge their sponge that's actually pretty soft probably softer than the sponge i switched to <laughs> like yesterday because i was wanting to try the tart sponge because like my other sponge was getting a little shredded but i love the hank and henry one so soft anyway <laughs> so I switched. I'm kind of regretting it now because it does eat up foundation and then it's like oh, kind of like a rubber hard. It's weird. It, at least it doesn't feel like I'm hitting my face with a rock, but it's hard. That one's not like that, but it does absorb a bit more foundation than I like most of my sponges too, but it's still good. It's a good sponge. So I'm cool with that. I probably, I think I might have that one. Um, but yeah, I don't have their highlighter. I don't think I have their highlighter brush or their foundation brush. So I'm cool with these. And I, you know, I'm a sucker for a blush brush. I am a sucker. Eye brushes and blush brushes are like my weakness. <laughs> and I like the highlighter brush now. Um, they used to just use like the tip of a slanted blush brush um, for a highlight. But now I switch to like those kind. So she got me this cute little thing. This is from the cream shop. The cream shop actually. They, they're primarily skincare, but I think they do have some makeup nowadays. But their skincare is amazing. Like, I love their facial mask. And then they have the cutest facial mask in all sorts of animals, too. <laughs> but they're actually really good. They have, like, I have a kale one that's not, like, no animals whatsoever. I love it. I had gotten their winter set last year. Loved it. That that was, like, reindeer and snowman and all. Um, but this is the Hello Kitty. It says, feel me. <laughs> uh super soft hairy cloth headband keeps hair away from face in its place keep hair baths facial cleansing makeup application workouts and spa time so i think that's over adorable i like hello kitty i never watched the show i just like the design because you know i'm a cat person so i just always like that oh it's adorable <laughs> yeah let's see if i can even put this on see if it's gonna be like all up in my my business. I got it most of the way. <laughs> Might try to slide off, but it's cute. She cute. Okay. She also got me from NYX. This is the Fill and Fluff eyebrow pencil in clear. Mr. Snow. Why does it say Mr. Snow right there? So this is probably more kind of like a wax, I'm guessing. 
I don't really know what to do. I guess it's probably like hold it more, hold them down more like a wax. And it's like a little teardrop kind of, very small though. Um, and then you got this little like artist brush, like you can actually put bristles stuff come apart like right then. I remember when the artiste brushes were a big thing. I guess they'll have that when they send us the boxy charm. But yeah. That's cool. Okay, and then this arrived today. I didn't know I was getting anything else. This is the NYX, uh, the marshmallow primer. So this is new. It has marshmallow root in it. Um, and I checked it. It doesn't have any carmine, so I can use it. And your first ingredient is aqua and then glycol it has a lot of not even far down like some root extracts barely seen anything about this i haven't really seen anybody reporting about it or something but they sealed that sucker Okay, so she's a little thick. It doesn't quite feel like a benefit. It's not that kind of texture. It does. It absorbs really well. Very light, light fragrance. Kind of like light marshmallow, I guess. Uh, kind of do, do a little luminosity, or is my skin always that shiny? Um, it absorbs really well. Kind of reminds me, um, Maybe a little bit more, like not oily, but like slicker than um, Dr. Brandt's Luminizing Primer. Maybe it almost feels more silicone-y, but silicone's not even in the first few ingredients. Um, it kind of has a slippy texture of like the Smashbot primers. So, hmm. it might be good. Okay. I'm very interested in trying it though. And the last thing she sent me was this NYX, the marshmallow blender. I'm sorry, the marshmallow blender. How freaking adorable is this thing? I was like, I love this. And since the other one's hurting my face, I'm not trying it. It's not hurting, it's just not the most comfortable blend. I like them really soft. So, this one like already feels like it'd be smaller. Perfect little pinkish marshmallow ever. <laughs> so I'm into it. So I'm excited to try this one. <laughs> Especially. Uh, yeah. So thank you so much for my presence, girl. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I will get on to trying them. I mean, I'm liking, I'm liking this. It's cute. She having her moment in my hair. The last present I received, uh, anybody, was I had a dear friend who we've known each other almost since the start of our channels, probably a few months in, like when everybody was going crazy trying to find channels to join, get your membership up, get your hours up, all that kind of craziness from uh, good old YouTube back in the day. Um, so we have been exchanging presents. I don't know, I mean, I think we actually knew each other, maybe my first year on YouTube. See, the first year of the following year, we just got really close in lives. We just would talk on lives and talk on Twitter. And he's a good guy. His name is Trailer Park Guy. Was TPG, but now I think it's under Trailer Park Guy. His YouTube channel is. Um, that's what TPG stood for anyway. Um, and... We get along so great, and he's always been super supportive, and I've been, I've been done my best to be supportive of him, and he's just like, what you want? And I was like, I don't know. See, when people put me on the spot, I don't think about what I want, because I'm so used to buying what I want for myself, you know? So, it's always like, put me on the spot about what I want. He's always on me about making an Amazon list. I'm like, I'm just too lazy to do that. <laughs> so I was like, I think I have one book on there that I probably have gotten years ago. I just don't do an Amazon list. So <laughs> he just kept on. I was like, I don't know. I was like, so I, and I don't ever want people to spend a lot on, on me or for me. Um, 
you know, so I found like the cheapest thing, which I do want Westworld season three. And I found, I was like, uh, well, I know you work at Target, but even with like your discount, which I think is 20, 25%, I was like, you're not going to get it cheaper than this eBay price of like $12. <laughs> I'm like, that's fine. You can send me that. Um, <laughs> cause I, you know, I do collect shows. I like, like well, I watch them, but, um, so I collect the seasons <laughs> and stuff. Even with Netflix, I still do it. Um, <clears throat> So I said, you can send me that. And then he was just like, oh, I'll make a couple days later. Best of the thing. Um, well, he's like, well, what about makeup? I said, well, there wasn't really anything I had looked for. I had just got the Walhalla 2 palette. So I was like, well, there's nothing really I'm looking for. Um, Ulta or Sephora or anything. Um, so then he brought, I said, well, what about like Chixie Mattel or any of their kind of makeup so I was like oh yeah I forgot chicks in the tail like we do like drag I mean he's really big into drag race I like drag race um I actually like the Tuta and Budit show with Raja and Raven uh so um anyway I was like okay let me let me go see and see I had I remembered seeing something about chicks in my tail what she had mostly was like blushes and stuff I didn't really want any of that but then I got to thinking, you know, Kinchi has a makeup line named Kinchi. So I was like, let me just go look, browse over there. And so I found this. And I said, well, what about this? It's vegan. Not all her products are vegan. Not her first couple palettes. They weren't vegan, but her last couple, I think, had been vegan. So good, good on Kinchi. Uh, I was like, well, what about this one? This is really pretty. And it says if you sign up for an email, you get 15% off. I didn't know it was like a brand new thing and that that wouldn't apply. And he didn't tell me until after he ordered it. But thank you, anyway, TPG. Uh, <laughs> so, he got me this. This is the Kinchi Sheep. That's her beauty brand. Times Naomi Smalls. I know Naomi Smalls. Uh, two Queens and One Desert Palette. And this is vegan friendly, but it is, is vegan. <laughs> like, there's, there's no carmine in here. Which is, you know, my big thing. They can put all the beeswax and whatever else they want it. Just don't put any carmine. <laughs> so... Yes, and it says BFF collab. It says get lost in this pigmented mirage color, sweltering hot with pigment sharp enough to poke. The power of two is greater than one. With two of our powers combined, here's an array of hues for you to feel the Nauchi fantasy. I sent some stickers and I told him that. And I said, I'm going to send them to you. I don't do stickers, I don't stick stickers anywhere. Um, so they would just go to waste on me. <laughs> or I'd give them to my niece who wouldn't appreciate them. <laughs> so. I mean, these are adorable. Like, this. so I said, I will send you these back. And I promise. I'm going to put that in a little I have some with Christmas cards or something that'll fit this. And I'll probably put a card around it. <laughs> but I'm going to send these to him. Because I think he can he stick them somewhere. <laughs> He's got a computer. He's got things he can probably stick them to. So, not to that sound bad. I think this is a sticker. I think this is... But anyway, I did like this, and that's another reason why I said, oh, this palette is good. They support every purchase, like, was it say, 2% of every purchase goes to the Trevor Project, which is, I think, I don't want to misspeak, so hopefully I got this right, because it's been a minute since I actually, it's been years since I first heard about it and looked it up and read what it was about, what it was for, but I know it's for LGBTQ uh, youth, but I'm... Yeah, to prevent suicide among it. I think the Trevor was a teenage boy who was bullied or something and committed suicide. Um, so I'm not demeaning that by saying or something. I just can't remember the story. It's been a tough few years since I first read it. I mean, I have a lot. Uh, I can't rem I have CRS too. I can't remember anything. Um, so, yeah. So, I like that. I think that's a sticker, but I'm not sure. But I'm going to send that to him anyway because it was his purchase that supported them. Um, and then also has this cute little sticker. Um, but yeah, I know he'll make great use of these. But I still have both of them have a green eye look going on. Because green is not the main color in this palette. Like, it's, I've opened it up if I can. Mad Maxine suit yourself. Things on the back. I mean, oh, I, she's like a living cactus over here. Or not so much. <laughs> anyway, she's supposed to be like kind of like a scorpion, maybe. Kind of. I don't know. I mean, she's got the spikes. So I think maybe like a scorpion. 
look at this color story look how gorgeous it is i guess you do have four greens up here and then a yellow um but they didn't really play with these colors down here i was expecting well there's another green so you got five greens you know i mean you got some blues you got some pinky purples you got a lot of yellows they could have played with um which i don't know i just think it's thought that they did such a similar look but it's fine and i do like eve there's even neutral colors I think that's very cool toned. That's a cool tone. That's a cool tone. That's an orange. The I mean, you can really see the desert in here. Even I know that to some of y'all, these colors might not scream desert, but desert flowers, like cactus flowers, can be like pinks and a little bit of blues, I think. So, yeah, I get that. Um, The sun, cacti, the sky, I guess. <laughs> and very rarely water. <laughs> um. And I like these brands. I like how we have enough neutrals to calm, like I was talking about with the Violet Voss palette, to calm down the brights a little bit to make it a little bit more wearable for other times in summer. I'll just go crazy. I don't care. But other times you might want to calm that down or even give you more versatility and some looks, a little bit different looks, so you're not always blowing out with an orange and a yellow. You're going to have those brown shades, very light, totally brown shades. But these are like good, friendly, like medium to dark skin friendly i would say colors really um like these are gonna suit me and a little darker even my summer shade um and those will be bright enough for like dark dark skins and even that one like for a cliche. shade so i think they did really well there's no mirror in here but that's fine because that is so gorgeous and i told tpg <laughs> I'd be working on a standalone video with this palette. So expect that soon. Hopefully not today because this would take a minute because it's glitter and red pinks <laughs> to come off. So just expect that soon. It was been a tough year. I didn't expect people to <laughs> like seriously, like they always ask me what I want. I'm like, I don't know because I just don't, especially around the holiday, I don't think about me and I don't say that to be humbling I just don't like I have focus like getting my mom stuff like getting everybody else presents by myself and I didn't really think about that because at the same time I'm like I don't want you to spend that much money on me or spend that on me when I can buy it myself eventually <laughs> or something like that so that's why like I just don't think about what I want around Christmas because I'm focused on my kids mostly and even you know, my brother and sister-in-law mom like I I'm focused on it <laughs> All, getting everything done everything wrapped everything bought everybody has equal amounts of stuff that I just don't think about me <laughs> like it's nothing it's just like how I've always been really like yeah I don't know <laughs> even like my birthday is literally tomorrow and I'm like what's what you wanted she asked me like before the end of the year and I said money to buy contacts so thank you for watching thank you too everybody sent me presents. Um, I don't know if my nieces ever watch my channel anymore. Um, well, they weren't like their parents told them not to because I was showing them what I bought them for Christmas. Um, but anyway, like, thank you, Cha or Charlene. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cassie. Thank you so much. I'll do a video on that Violet Voss one too. Yeah, hold on. Thank you, TPG, so much. Like, it's pretty palettes. So, thank you so much for my Christmas presents. I appreciate them. Bottom of my heart. <laughs> and Sirius does too. Sirius is like all up in my lap. So, thank you so much. And thank you for the you know I'm going I'm, that blender is mine tomorrow. <laughs> so, thank you. Bye.